Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial by Rex Furry. Um, yes, this is a tutorial, uh, excuse me, a Game Maker tutorial. Um, and although it's not going to be a, a very big tutorial, uh, it's still going to be something. So, you know. Yeah, anyway, today I'm just going to be uh, showing you how to use sprite sheets in Game Maker. Alright, and let's start by getting this out of the way. Alright, so sprite sheets, sprite sheets, sprite sheets. First thing that you need to do when using sprite sheets is get some sprite sheets. And um, a really good place to get them is called the Spriters Resource. And so to get there, <coughs> uh, excuse me, you just go to your internet browser. Alright, uh, I happen, uh, excuse me, I happen to use Firefox. All right, and then just type in. Uh, sorry, I'm typing kind of slow. Um, okay, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so just type in the Spriters resource in Google, and then it should be the first um, uh, the first result. All right, and then just click on it, and the here we go. This is the Spriters resource, and you won't have all the uh, excuse me all these sprites. Every time you uh, you come to the uh, the main page, um, that is because uh, the sprites resource is constantly getting updated and constantly getting in new sprites. So uh, that's yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's just go and get some Mario sprites here. So if you want to search for a specific sprite or game, um, you can go to this search bar over here, or you can go to this uh, this little index right here. And it will have all these different uh, consoles that you can search by, and uh, but I like to use just the search bar. And also, just a little side note here: um, the Spriters resource has added some new um, some new kind of uh, pages to their website. So now they have the models resource, sounds resource, and textures resource. Um, the models and textures resource you won't be using in Game Maker most likely. Um, because those are for 3D stuff, which, I mean, you could do 3D stuff in Game Maker, but, um, yeah, mostly what you, uh, what I'm going to just be using is the Sprayers resource today. Um, you could use the sounds in Game Maker. Those can be pretty helpful. Um, those are sounds from different games that you can get, so, you know, like walking, um, sound or whatever. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's just go up here and use the search bar. So, um, I'm just going to search for Mario really quick. And uh, notice that games is check marked. Um, when I search Mario here, um, that's not how I spell Mario. All right. So when I search Mario, all the different kind of Mario games come up here. Um, I don't want those right now. I mean, you could g uh, get some of them. Like, okay, let's just click on Super Mario Bros. Deluxe here, and wait for my internet to re um, respond to this. Uh, little page here, whatever. Okay, so it came up with all the sprites that the Sprite Resource has for this one game. Um, I mean, you could do it. Th uh, excuse me, <coughs> you could do it this way and get your sprites this way. But I usually, if I'm searching just for a specific sprite, or uh, if you're searching for just a specific sprite or character, um, you would want to have games unchecked and sheets checked. So now I'm going to search for Mario again with just sheets checked and all the Mario, just the Mario sprites come up. Alright, so this is this is what I want now. And so I'm just going to click on, <laughs> um, I'm just going to click on this one. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And this, <coughs> uh, excuse me, and this little um, uh, kind of, I don't know, uh, palette with images of Mario on it come up and right now they don't do anything like if you were to download this sheet and load it onto Game Maker here let's just make a uh, sprite really quick load the uh, load the sprite and <coughs> excuse me if we had this saved in our computer and we just loaded this nothing would happen um, so first of all uh, let's save it and I'll show you how to uh, how to use it later so we're just going to right click on the image um, and then we're going to go save image as and I'm going to go to desktop and I'm just going to create a new folder um, alright so you just right click new folder and I'm just going to type in sprites 
you do not have to create a new folder. You can just create this wherever or save this wherever you want to. Um, I'm just going to create a new folder because, I don't know, it's it's just kind of easier to find your sprites that way. So I'm just going to hit, uh, well, double click on the folder and save it inside the folder. All right. And there we go. And now our, um, our uh, little palette here or whatever is saved. So I'm just going to go into Game Maker here. I'm going to load the sprite. Or no, I'm not. I'm going to go to edit, uh, excuse me, edit the image. Uh, don't go to load sprite because that's, I mean, you could, but that's not really, yeah. Anyway, just go to edit sprite. And then once you're in the sprite editor, you want to go to file and well, create from strip. And I'm going to go to my desktop here, go to sprites, and there's my Mario uh, sprite sheet. And I'm just going to hit open here. All right, and it comes up with a sheet, and it's a little zoomed in, and you have this little box here that you can move around. So this is what you use to select the uh, select the sprites. So let's see, I'm just going to put the box over Mario really quick. And change the number of images to three, or yeah, three. Yeah, number of images and images per row. And as you can see, we have three boxes now. And we want all these Mario's to fit in each box. But we have a uh, have a little problem here. They do not fit into each box. And the reason for this is because by default, the image width of the boxes, as well as the height, is 32 by 32, and these don't look they look about 16 by 16 so we're just going to change the width by um, 16 and let's see how this fits now all right so it fits us pretty well um, the only problem is the box uh, excuse me the boxes are too uh, bunched together now so to uh, put a little separation between these boxes here we want to go down to horizontal separation and by default it is zero so let's just change it to one here and see what happens um, you know what, let's change it to, uh, two really quick. All right, and kind of place that. Here they are. And that looks pretty good. It looks like they're all in the boxes, except for, uh, except for this part of Mario here. And we can fix that later, though. So let's just press OK. All right, and show preview. And we have, you guys, you can see, uh, we have all of our sprites here split up into each individual image. And it looks pretty good. So I could fix this, but since I don't really want to take up time, I'm not going to. You can fix it if uh, if you want to, uh, you but you probably will. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's the basics on how to use sprite sheets. Well, actually, there's not really an advanced way to use sprite sheets, but uh, yeah, that's just I guess that's pretty much how you just use sprite sheets. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and there will be more on the way. Feel free, uh, excuse me, feel free to suggest different tutorials or well more rather tutorials and uh, I will um, uh, hopefully get around to posting those if you uh, yeah if you give me a suggestion <laughs> so anyway hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, this has been Rex Furry have a great day